Hello everyone, my name is Harold Golner. I'm the product manager for uh, the Yako products here in North America. And uh, our company is located in uh, Rockford, Illinois, Advanced Machine Engineering. Today what we're gonna do is we're gonna do the gripper installation um, with an HSK 63 gripper assembly. Uh, right here are some of the uh, tools that we're gonna be using. Of course, we, here we have the, uh, the clamping body. We have the finger spacer. And then of course we have our fingers. There are seven fingers uh, for 63 uh, gripper assembly. We're also gonna use a uh, digital depth mic that's uh, used to set the EM dimension or the gauge setting dimension for the fingers, okay? And then we have a T Allen wrench. And it's, obviously you can see here it's fairly long because that's because we have to reach down into the uh, HSK grippers to tighten the counter screw that locks the gripper body to the draw rod. And then also to hold the gripper body from turning as we tighten the um, counter screw that's in the bottom or a set screw, uh, we're going to use a 24 uh, open end wrench. And then here we have a uh, tool that's used uh, to assemble in the front nose of the spindle the uh, finger spacer. All right, we're going to start uh, lubricating the, the fingers, the finger spacer, and the clamping body. And uh, what we're going to use is we're going to use this metal flux paste here. Uh, we obviously sell it, uh, and uh, it's really important that you use this because it uh, cuts down the friction uh, between the fingers and the clamping body when it's uh, uh, unclamping and clamping. And that, because the HSK, the uh, uh, the fingers amplifies the pull force of the springs by roughly four times. So what we're going to do first is we're going to take the um, the clamping body and we're going to start lubricating it. So I'm a, I won't be too generous on the pace right now because obviously this is just uh, for demonstration purposes, but we're going to lubricate right here. And we're going to, uh, we're going to wait on the front end of this because, uh, well, actually we're going to do that. I think let's just do it right now. Okay, so we can set that aside. Then we're going to take the finger spacer and you want to just put some of this paste on the tangs here. Because this is what separates the fingers when it's installed and it's spring loaded too. And we're going to take each finger and you got to lubricate on this angle in the slot and we're going to wait on the front of the finger until it's uh, installed then we're going to lubricate that because it gets messy because you got to install the fingers yet so so we're going to take every finger we're going to wait on that and we're going to put it in the back here too so you don't want to forget that either okay so we're going to do the slot angle here the back side I'm pretty sparingly right now in the pace but you definitely want to put more on there than what I have okay that's all there is to getting the paste on the fingers and the gripper assembly. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna um, take the fingers and we're gonna assemble it uh, into a, a test stand here that we have that simulates a spindle. All right, we're ready now to assemble the uh, gripper assembly into the spindle nose. So we're gonna start with the finger spacer. And we have a special tool here that makes it easier because it sits down the bottom you want to just lightly just thread in this tool here and we'll just put it in and then just back it off counterclockwise to get it out the tool stays in there now now we're going to start installing all the segments of the fingers we're going to start with two of them right away because you have to get the spring compressed so initially and you can see here the you can see it's sticking out here. That's gonna be facing out the fingers because you can see here the fingers 
This is what grabs the ID of the tool right here. And that's why we haven't lubricated that yet because we're gonna do it after things are all in because you can see how messy it can get because I gotta push these in. All right, I just put two of the fingers in and now what you have to do is you, gotta, you can take your thumb and you need to push like an angle this way. You need to push and compress the spring. There you go. And then you can hold them because we just compressed it. Now you're gonna put the third finger in. You don't go 180 degrees from each other. You just keep going around. I don't care if you go clockwise or counterclockwise. And you put the third one right next to it. Now they should stay in place now. You can see three of them already in there once you get them in. Once you get that spring collapsed. Okay, now we got the last finger. The last finger, seventh segment, you're gonna have to spread them apart a little bit to get in between here. And that always gets to be a little challenging because then they want to fall down and it's probably good you see it this way because you can see it's not that easy especially if you haven't done it in a long time either okay there you go so they're in you can see the seven segments are in place now okay now we can uh insert the clamping body but before we're going to do that you can see these fingers we didn't lubricate the fingers here yet we're going to do that in the id and we're going to put a uh, assembly chart that shows the loop points on the uh, on in the video so you'll be able to see it so you know where all the loop points are so now what we'll do is we'll just thread it in but what we're gonna do let's make sure we unclamp it and you want to set this uh, the gauge setting dimension or the EM dimension for Einstein mass in unclamped position at 10.5 millimeters. Okay, so we're already unclamped. We're going to take a, a digital depth mic and we're going to reset it. Okay, I'm going to, you, you won't need to see this, but obviously you have to zero it out. So I already zeroed it out and you measure off the face of the gripper body and the spindle face. Okay, we want 10.5 right now I have 7.7 .7, so obviously I have to thread it out more Eleven point seven. that's a little trial and error 11 11.1 10.35 10.53 that's actually good so you have a tolerance on setting that dimension. It's uh, 10.5 millimeters plus um, 0.2 millimeters, and it's uh, minus nothing. So we're good. So now all we have to do, we can clamp it. Okay. And we want to get the grease in between the fingers and the clamping body a little bit, work it in there. All right, the only thing left now is we need to tighten the counter screws that's inside the clamping body because that's what locks the clamping body to the draw rod so we have a 24 uh, millimeter wrench because you have a flat spot on here now as you hold this you want you don't want to turn this to lose position and then while you're holding that you're going to go in here with a with a t allen wrench okay and then you're going to turn that counter locking screw clockwise until it locks at the end of the draw rod that's what locks the gripper body to the draw bar assembly and that's all there's to that and you want to do that unclamp position is easy obviously because you have to get the wrench on here just clamp unclamp yeah you can see here you can't get the wrench on here so and that's it we're done